team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ant and Dog, and we back to it. You know how we do it. Before MJ was Dr. J. I think this is gonna be a really good video, man, because in one of my last videos, I was talking about how uh, Magic and Larry Bird kind of saved the NBA. I was I was talking. Well, first I was talking about Michael Jordan. I was like, Michael Jordan, you know, made the NBA global, but without uh, Magic or Larry Bird who saved the NBA it wouldn't have been possible for Michael Jordan and people was like hey did you forget about Dr. J you better throw Dr. J in there with Magic and Bird so I'm like my bad my bad so here we are I think we're gonna have a really good video here before we get into it make sure y'all subscribe to the channel we are on the way to 10k go ahead and like this video if you like this video and go ahead and write something in the comments let me know where Dr. J ranks all time because I didn't got a lot of mixed reviews of Dr. J. Some people wouldn't told me he's, I think LeBron even said that he was like top, you know, in his top three all time. Uh, he was Michael Jordan's favorite player. Like for, so for you to be Michael Jordan's favorite player, you have to be up there. But I also then heard some kind of negative stuff about Dr. J and how he really wasn't that good. He couldn't shoot, you know, he couldn't go left. Like it was a lot of, a lot of different reviews I didn't got on Dr. J, but Let's just get our own our own opinions of him, and you know we gonna we gonna we gonna figure out how where Dr. J ranks on my all time list. So let's get into it. We got before MJ was Dr. J. Let's get before MJ there was Dr. J. In Michael Jordan's book for the love of the game. Jordan said, "When I came into the league, I wasn't nearly enamored with magic." Oh, what the subtitles on though? Before MJ, there was Dr. J. Mm. That's deep. Michael Jordan's book, For the Love of the Game, Jordan said, When I came into the league, I wasn't nearly enamored with Magic Johnson and Larry Bird as I was with Julius Irving. As a kid, my first nickname was Magic, but the only player I really knew about was Dr. J. Mm. That's deep, though. He said, you know, Magic and Larry Bird was right there at the forefront of the NBA, but he ain't, they ain't who he looked up to. He looked at Dr. J. Like, that, that's the... Around the rim, underneath, you know. The reverse layups is Dr. J inspired. Mm. One of those things that those three had. Whoa. Dr. J was the first. The base line, driving, left handed, left handed. It probably was getting a glimpse of the game in the 90s and the 70s. So, you know, again, it was probably a little bit ahead of his time. Flying through the air, it was such a thing of beauty because not only was my name came from the Stop it. He, he seems so said, long. Okay, that's it. Pause. My show tonight, I'm going to affect the whole game. An incredible shot. His wingspan looked crazy. And one! And one! Shooting one! Dr. J was the inspiration behind a lot of Michael Jordan's early play style. Similar to the Kobe Jordan relationship, MJ also had a fairly similar mentor relationship with Julius Irving. He could have easily dunked that. I see the similarities. I see it. Like I see the acrobatic layups and like just like the different things that that Jordan took from from Dr. J. And I, I, I kind of heard him say it a little bit, but it reminds me like how he took stuff from Dr. J. 
the same way how Kobe was taking stuff from him. So it's only right that after after this I, I react to a, a Kobe and Jordan video. Wrong Edward home snipped it out to Jordan down the lane all the way. There was a lot of similarities in terms of the way I played and the way that he played. When he left the game, he left with a, a, a lot of class and a lot of dignity and and that respect from their peers. And that's something that if I don't even win a world championship or an MVP or whatever, uh, that is something I would love to walk away from the game and have. And you know, he's been a very good friend to me thus far because his advice has always been very comforting for myself to accept. And uh, yeah, I just think that he and I are getting close. It's a great feeling to be around him and uh, to learn a lot from him. Do you study pro basketball here? You can just tell the respect that Jordan had for him because I've never really heard Jordan talk that highly of somebody. Talking about it feels good just to be around him. Like, you don't really hear Jordan talking like that. So, the level of respect that Jordan had for Dr. J, like, is it, is apparent, very apparent. Uh, I, I, I think that's the way you learn about dealing with all different types of players, uh, dealing with the game and the expanding of the game. You brought a different... Uh, Attitude of different expansion well, to like the game. Back was Magic, hurt. Larry, myself. Have you returned to the game that you love with an enlightened view about how things work? Oh, well, before I had a very naive attitude about it. You know, the way I was perceived and the way that I must live. There's no pure perfect human being in this world. And I think because of all the adulation that I was receiving and, and, and the um, respect that I was getting, I wanted to live that most perfect lifestyle so that everyone could always like Michael Jordan. I try to make everybody happy, but you can't make everybody happy. That's one of the things that I've learned. My father taught me, you know, you advised me many times, that you know, at some point in time you got to know when to say no. And I think coming back to the game and being away from the game and being in my league baseball, I was able to revisit some of those those stages that evolved once I was trying to get to the top. And I kind of forgot about it. And it, it brought the very uh, simple things back to, to, to me as a person uh, and, and to the game. It's just a game. Enjoy the game. Enjoy your life. Play the game. Be very respectful mm. to people, but have people respect you for, for a human being. And don't be afraid to take. I'm with my kids. I'm with my family. I'd rather not be polite about it. But yet, recapture some of that realistic attitude to your life or the humanistic side of yourself because you were losing, I was losing it and I was getting so wrapped up into it that I wasn't happy with what I was trying to do and what I enjoyed the most which is playing the game of basketball I said there'd never be That's a, deep. another Elgin Bell and That's I deep. came along I said there'd never be another Dr. J and you came along you know, the under the hand against the Lakers where you're behind the basket we also tried to do it once you did it I guess I would have never had those visions if, if I hadn't seen Dr. J in his time. Mm. You know, he brought so much creativity to the game. Here comes Julius Derby. You know what's next? Whoa. Cross court feed. Jordan going and throws it up. Oh, it's getting put it in on an amazing move. That's the ball. It's going away. Laid out for Jordan. This should be an easy two. Come on. Ricky Mahorn hustling underneath. Can't get it the ball. That's young Jordan right there. I can tell by the jerseys. Free throw line? His pool was on the line, but he could have easily dunked behind the line. to new heights of popularity in Chicago. Both of them could Here's Jordan with Jordan, that time, moving without the ball, received the pass, so we're talking. I definitely see the similarities. He's illusion, and I think and his dunk was great. Hey. I think the way he, all of us have probably admired more the way he carried himself off the court. This is close to put at the one if they score. Here's Jordan down the middle, all the way! Look at this crowd! Right? So explosive. There's a slam on a break. Listen to this crowd, they're on their... Hey! He didn't 
and Hunter appreciated for his impact to the game and to the stars of the generations that came after him. Oh he was also somewhat the forgotten and secret mentor of George Shervin and even Michael Jordan. Dr. J was more than just an idol to these stars, he was a mentor for some of the game's greats. So I kind of learned the small things you can do, you say, you know, they, they, they wind up being big parts of my life, you know, keeping my humility and always thinking about somebody else. So. I feel very proud for Doc being the starter of the guys that followed. Spencer Magic, Haywood? George, uh, uh, he's been a good torch carrier. Of course, Jordan would be so competitive and use his idols moves against Ooh, him. That's a thumbnail fun. right there. Hey, he dunked on Dr. J? Your idols become your rivals. MJ's iconic Air Jordan free throw line dunk was originally done by Julius Irving in the very first dunk contest, and he also did it in another dunk contest a few years later. His third attempt, but let's see it. Hey, that's so impressive, man. To be able to jump from that far is crazy. I don't care how big you are. Now Michael Jordan told me he had something special. He may be trying to take off from the free throw line a la Julius Irving. Let's see what happens. He kind of measured it from there. He's going back, back. That way may well be it. The people are outside. They like this. I can hear his What shoes he got on? I can't really see. What shoes is them, y'all? It's like the, the twos or the threes? Hey! Wait, was that the iconic free throw line dunk? It looked crazy sped up. No, it don't, it don't feel the same if it's not slowed down. We do a lot of different things, and uh, you have to give credit to that. They keep showing that dunk. <laughs> And I don't blame him. video about another all-time small forward, LeBron James, who also played similar to Irving and Jordan at the start of their careers. Great video. Um, I think I needed to see that. I need to start seeing more Dr. J video because I don't really put him in that in that category enough. But I appreciate y'all for watching this with me. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Go ahead and like this video if you like this video. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know how you feel about Dr. J. Yeah, where does he rank all time? Uh, some things I got to say about Dr. J and MJ is I feel like Dr. J was a lot bigger. Like, he made those dunks look a lot easier than, shoot, than Michael Jordan or anybody else. Like, his elbow used to be over the rim, like... Uh, Jordan didn't have that luxury of being that big with the athleticism that Dr. J has. So I would give Dr. J that that edge. But I think what made Jordan better was how he developed the mid-range shot, the fadeaway, uh, just his post-up game. Like everything else other than dunking the ball, I think Michael Jordan just mastered. And I didn't really see too much of that from Dr. J. So I would say that's probably what made MJ become the GOAT. Uh, with the Dr. J athleticism. So let me know how y'all feel about that. But I appreciate y'all like always. We out.